Who'd like to spell? Well, I've been pretty happy with the way the team's been playing for a period of time, really. There's not been so many press conferences where I've come to them and been disappointed with the team's performance. I mean, it's just sometimes we haven't got the result that maybe you were hoping the performance would give. Today, I thought that uh, we, we defended well throughout the game. Um, we had that stroke of fortune just before half-time where after missing a chance to go 3-0 up, a very good chance to go 3-0 up, we we first conceded the free kick and we have to defend it with 10 men, which means that they had a, a spare player who would not have been spare had we had 11 players on the field. And they took advantage of that and forced Julian Speroni into two fantastic saves. Then shortly after that, a penalty kick, which was you know, a fairly... A fairly uh, uh, not a soft one, but it's a, an unfortunate one, you know, a bit similar to ours, really. It wasn't one of those penalty kicks where you think someone's definitely going to score. But it is a penalty, and uh, we were fortunate that Trippier missed that, because at 2-1 it would have been much harder in the second half. We knew they would have a lot of the ball. We knew they would swarm forward with their centre-backs and midfield players, and we had to be very disciplined to keep our shape. and not to go chasing the ball and not to go trying to pressurise them too up, the, too high up the field so they could play around us. And the players did that well, I thought. Conor Wickham has scored uh, his first goal in, I think, almost 800 days. Or mm. like two years, years and three months, I was told. Yeah, yeah. 799 days. Mm. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? Well, it's a credit to him, isn't it? I thought today was a, a good news story for Crystal Palace Football Club with both him and Spironi. Spironi broke the record for clean sheets with 112, I think I was told, in 400 and something performances, which is uh, appearances, which is fantastic. And especially after last week, you know, where he had to shoulder some of the blame for the for the for the goals we conceded up at Anfield. To come back and do what he did today, that's a real good news story. And for Connor to have to to fight his way back to starting a game after all that time and then to crown it with a goal. Another really piece of good news for, for the football club and for the fans. So all round today, it's been a good day. You get these days in football from time to time. You have to play, they balance themselves out with the ones that aren't quite so good. But today we can leave Sillows Park with a smile on our <coughs> face and wait and see what awaits us in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Not really, John, because the the, the league form has not been bad. You know, you, we, it's once again I can't answer those questions honestly because it would mean me accepting that our league form has not been good or we've not been playing well enough to win matches. And that's not true. You know, we have been. You know, the number of times we've lost games one nil where we could so easily have won them. You know, by a, a clear margin. It's part and parcel of the game of football, especially if you aren't blessed with a team which is banging in goals left, right and centre. But uh, I don't think we needed anything to to change our approach or our attitude or our belief and confidence. That is there. What we really need is the, is the results, which will give everyone a chance to say, well, we know it and now we've showed it. And that's the problem. We've known it, but we haven't always been able to show it. Today we've done that. But two very, very big games coming up for us now or three, Southampton, Fulham, West Ham. You know, we've got to A, reproduce the performances, B, defend every bit as well, and C, hope that the goals we've been able to score in the last few weeks will, will keep flowing. Roy, do you think Connor can make a big contribution still for the rest of the season? Well, you know, let's, I suppose there's only one answer to that. Of course I believe and hope that, but I think it would be putting an awful lot of pressure on him, and I don't want to do that. I mean, the fact is he's worked hard to get where he is. It's good that he's had the chance today. I mean, had it been a league game, he wouldn't have had that chance because Jordan I would have played in, in the centre-forward position. Um, but I decided to rest Jordan so that he could play and he took the opportunity, which is very creditable and I'm very pleased about. And I don't want to say anything which could even be interpreted as remotely negative. But it is two and a quarter years and the fact is coming back and playing for 70 or 75 minutes and getting a goal can't get much better than that for you. 
But if you suddenly believe, well, that's it now, now it's going to be just like it was four or five years ago when I was in my prime, I think that would be too much to ask. He's got to keep training, got to keep, keep himself fit enough to get out to all the training sessions, which is something he's been doing now for the last five or six weeks. And in, in my previous year and a quarter at the club, he never had that spell of training every day. There was always a spell followed by a breakdown, followed by a new spell, followed by a breakdown. And I think the reason he's playing now and can play from the start is because he's training. And it's the reason also that Christian Benteke, who's been doing it for the last two or three weeks, can come on and give us the 15 minutes that he did. Okay, that's it. Well, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Well, I hope, we hope he's going to give us what he gave, what he gave us, and was giving us before he, he had that very bad ankle injury. You know, before he fractured his ankle in the game against West Ham in about February, I think it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. you know, a year ago. We hope January. that uh, January was yeah. it. So it's almost it's exactly a year ago. So we're hoping that he's going to come back and give us what he gave us then, which was uh, a boost in training every day with his with his. Uh, joyful attitude and enthusiasm and the fact that he's so well liked in, in the group. When he comes on, we can rely upon him to do the type of things we were asking him to do with with the, the work rate he was he was showing at that time. I was disappointed that we didn't that we didn't persuade him or weren't able to persuade him to stay with us uh, on the contract we were offering because at the time there was a doubt how the ankle would, would go. Uh, he chose not to do that, got picked up eventually by West Brom and we were just lucky enough to find that uh, there was a chance to get him back. He wanted to come, we wanted to take him and it's another very useful addition to our squad because in those wide areas and forward areas we are still limited to some extent because of you know Connor and Christian We've still got to see how that progresses on a, on a weekly basis. We can't be 100% certain that they're going to be able to, to do it until the season progresses. And having Bakary there will give us another string to our bow. OK, that's it. Thank you very much. Good, good. Cheers. One other thing which I will say just before I leave, which I'm actually very proud of at the moment, I don't know how much press it's, it's got, but I think the club making a decision to open its doors, if you like, and make a lounge available for people who are sleeping on the streets. I think that's a really, really good initiative, some which I'm very, very proud of. And, you know, a football match is one thing, and it's great to win a football match and come in here with a smile on your face and be able to say nice things. But I think if I was one of those many, many homeless people finding a, a chance to come into the warm every night, that would mean a lot more to me than winning a football match. So just like to make that point. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen.